Frankly, mainstream society has gotten a lot wrong about drugs like Ozempic. So let's get the facts about Ozempic straight. This is not medical advice. Ozempic is a GLP-1 medication. GLP-1s are a class of drugs that include brand names you'll recognize like Ozempic, Wegovy, Trulicity. All of those medications are once weekly injections. There's also a GLP-1 that comes in pill form, Ribelsis which you take every day. These GLP-1 medications are a really big deal lately and Ozempic has been making headlines because of its ability to help people lose weight. It's FDA approved for people with type 2 diabetes. People without diabetes are using it too and Wagovi is basically just Ozempic with a new name. Wagovi is specifically intended for people who don't have diabetes but they're struggling with being overweight or obesity. Many people with type 1 diabetes are also taking drugs like Ozempic. Ozempic comes in the same structure as an insulin pen, but Ozempic is not insulin. So Ozempic works by activating receptors in your body that enhance the effects of a naturally occurring hormone, GLP-1. So Ozempic is a GLP-1 agonist, which means it, it gets that GLP-1 all stirred up and helps it work better in your body. GLP-1 is what your body already naturally produces. But if you're living with diabetes, if you're struggling with your weight, if you have type 1 diabetes, you may not be producing normal amounts of GLP-1 hormone. Basically, Ozempic changes your metabolic function. It does a whole bunch of things that help you lose weight, lower your blood sugar, improve your A1C, increase your time in your goal blood sugar range. Here's how. Ozempic does reduce your overall appetite. So not only do you feel full sooner, but you just generally don't feel hunger cues the way you used to. Ozempic increases the signals to your brain that you are full. Many people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes don't produce normal amounts of the hormones that manage hunger and satiety. Ozempic slows down the digestion of the food that you ate, so you feel full longer. Ozempic increases your body's natural sensitivity to insulin which means if you take insulin as a person with type 1 or type 2 diabetes you'll need less and insulin is a fat storage hormone the more insulin you need the more likely you're storing excess glucose in your bloodstream as body fat if you're reducing your insulin needs you're reducing the amount of glucose that your body can store as body fat which helps you lose weight one of the biggest things Ozempic does that most people don't understand is it tells your liver to produce less glucose. Did you know that your liver is producing glucose all day long? Drip, drip, drip. Your body is producing glucose to give you energy between meals. When you're eating, your liver is supposed to produce less glucose. In people with diabetes, that doesn't always happen. It's really frustrating and it means you've got more insulin taking that excess glucose and storing it as body fat, which makes it really hard to lose weight or manage your weight. Ozempic reduces the amount of sugar your liver is producing. So that means you're reducing the amount of insulin your body needs in order to maintain healthy blood sugar levels. The less insulin you need, the less glucose you're storing as body fat, making it easier to lose weight and manage your weight. But there are a whole bunch of things Ozempic doesn't do that people in mainstream society have gotten really confused about. Ozempic does not cancel out calories. You can't binge eat on Ozempic and not gain weight. It's really important if you're taking Ozempic or considering taking Ozempic to look at your lifestyle habits. No medication is going to cancel out poor lifestyle habits that are contributing to weight gain that are contributing to you not feeling well. So take a look at those because you need to combine lifestyle habits with Ozempic in order to be successful. Ozempic has actually been studied for other benefits, including improving your memory, reducing your risk of cardiovascular events like heart attack and stroke, increasing bone mass, and preserving your liver and kidney function. Ozempic is also being studied right now for its impact on addiction. The side effects of Ozempic have been in the news too, and boy, do we love to dramatize the side effects of things. But when you take too much of any medication, there's going to be rough side effects. A very important thing to know about taking Ozempic is your doctor should start you on a really small dose and you should taper up slowly. The side effects of Ozempic are also generally the most intense during the first few weeks or month of taking the medication. Because you're introducing a medication that's increasing 
the effects of this naturally occurring hormone. So your body has to get used to that. And if the side effects become too much for you, you should talk to your doctor about tapering back down. Okay, so side effects include diarrhea, vomiting, gas, generally just feeling uncomfortable after eating, constipation, which is the opposite of the other one, nausea, feeling just kind of generally queasy. If you're puking on Ozempic, that's because you're on too high a dose and you need to talk to your doctor. If you're experiencing severe side effects from Ozempic, talk to your doctor. And I just can't say this enough. You're taking too much or you've increased the dose too quickly. Things to consider with Ozempic before you start it is that it really should be considered a drug that you're going to take for potentially the rest of your life. When you go off a GLP-1 medication, you're very likely to gain weight back. And it's not because you're sitting at home eating hamburgers all day. Your liver is gonna start producing more glucose again, which means you're gonna need more insulin and that excess glucose is gonna be stored as fat. Yes, your appetite is gonna come back, but even if you're maintaining your calorie consumption, you could still gain weight because your liver is now producing that extra glucose. Your body's gonna need more insulin to maintain normal blood sugar levels, and that excess insulin is gonna store more excess glucose as body fat. While Ozempic on its own shouldn't cause low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, if you are taking other medications for diabetes like insulin, Ozempic can increase your risk of hypoglycemia because it's going to increase your sensitivity to insulin. You should expect and talk to your doctor about reducing the dosages of any insulin that you're on when you start Ozempic. I know Ozempic has this bad rap of just being a drug that people are using to lose weight easily, but people with diabetes do need support from medications like Ozempic. It might not be a great fit for everybody, and it's not a band-aid for poor lifestyle habits, but it can be really helpful. Thanks for watching Diabetes Nerd. Don't forget to subscribe and find my books on Amazon.